right now to Washington. It's a huge week in Washington as President Joe Biden has made the historic decision over the weekend not to seek re-election in the 2024 race. And now lawmakers return to Capitol Hill and even more reaction is expected from them. Our Washington, D.C. correspondent Raquel Martin answers the big question. Will Democrats be united behind Vice President Kamala Harris? We should have a better read on where the entire party is in coming days, but already many Democratic lawmakers are enthusiastically throwing their support behind Vice President Kamala Harris. After President Joe Biden shocked the nation by bowing out of the 2024 race and endorsed his vice president, Democrats appear to be uniting behind Vice President Kamala Harris. Oh, I'm all in for Harris. I've known Harris since 1991. She is smart. She's capable. Dozens of influential Democrats, from the Clintons to Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez to Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer, are all pledging their support for the VP. But notably, congressional Democratic leaders, including former Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi, stopped short of a Harris endorsement. We're going to have an open, orderly, democratic process. Senator Richard Blumenthal suggests the party will have an open primary to allow delegates to weigh in before informally nominating a candidate ahead of the Democratic National Convention next month. And then we will come together with an excitement and exuberance, even a joy. In a statement, Harris vows to earn and win over support. So far, no other Democrats are challenging Harris for the nomination, although independent Senator Joe Manchin appears to be flirting with the idea. Let Legislative affairs expert Casey Burgett says with the president behind her, Harris has a huge advantage. That's about as good as an endorsement as you can give. Until Vice President Kamala Harris is working nonstop to shore up support ahead of the Democratic National Convention. Sources close to the vice president say she made more than 100 calls to governors, members of Congress and other advocates on Sunday. For now in Washington, Raquel Martin, back to you.